But what happens when our data isn't linearly separable? Let's take a simple example in one dimension. Here we have blue points at positions minus 4, minus 2, 2, and 4, and red points at minus 3, minus 1, 1, and 3. And, as you can see, there is no single point that can separate the blue and red classes. And no matter where we put our decision boundary, we'll always misclassify some points. This is where transformations come in. What if instead of looking at just the x position, we transform our data to include x squared as well? Now, our 1D data becomes 2D data. This data point x becomes x x squared. And look what happens. Our blue points become minus 4, 16, minus 3, 9, 3, 9, and 4, 16. While our red points become minus 2, 4, minus 1, 1, 1, 1, and 2, 4. And, as you can see, now we can draw a horizontal line at y equals 6, for instance, that perfectly separates our classes. Let's look at an even more complex example in 2D. Here we have data arranged in concentric circles. The inner circle is one class and the outer ring is another class. There is clearly no straight line that can separate these classes. But if we transform our data by adding a third dimension z, where z equals x squared plus y squared, something magical happens. The outer ring gets lifted higher than the inner circle and now we can separate the classes with a horizontal plane. 